In this video, I'm going to talk about the recording icon. This is the microphone icon that's to the left of every line in the book. It allows you to record your performance. So I'll click on that there and you get this window and there's a big red button and I'm sure you can guess what that does. This level over here is your microphone level that you set up when you install the IPS. If anything's changed or, or you'd like to change anything, you just click on this little settings button down here. It's the same button that's over here and it gives you a chance to adjust your microphones if you'd like to. But your microphone will already be recognized and working when you click on that microphone icon. So all you have to do is hit the big red button. And this will start recording your performance. It gives you the count off and it's recording us right now. You can adjust the accompaniment level here, the volume here. And if you hit the stop button, it's not going to save your recording. You have to go through and perform the entire line, and when it's finished, it'll give you an opportunity to save it if you're happy with the way that you performed it. So again, if you hit this stop button, it's not going to save uh, your work. You have to perform the entire line, and then once it's finished, it'll automatically bring up this screen and play it back for you. And we don't have to listen to all of that again, but you can go ahead and mix it. There's a mini mixer here, so you can turn your solo part up, or your accompaniment part down, or your accompaniment part up, depending on how you'd like to mix it, and give you a chance to see if this is the file that you'd really like to save. If it's not, if you're not happy with your performance, simply click on the microphone icon here again, and it'll re-record without saving anything. But if you're happy with the way it is, and you've mixed it the way you've liked, you hit the Save button over here that looks like a disk going into a folder, and ta-da, you've been saved. Uh, from here, you can click OK and go on with your life, or you can go ahead into your My Files by clicking on My Files. Now, that's exactly what this folder icon over here does. It'll take you to the same place right here. And from here, you can manage all of the files you've recorded in your book so far. I've recorded three. From here, I can play them, listen to my progress. It kind of builds an electronic portfolio for you here of all of your recordings. But here, you can also email your files. So I just finished that Rain Rain number 17. It was epic and I'd like to send it to my teacher. So I click on email and it shows me that the file size is 2.68 megabytes. I'm going to email that file. And when, again, when you set up your IPS you had a chance to enter your teacher's email address and if you did that it automatically have your teacher's email right up there. But if you didn't you can always type an email address in there too to send this file. You can send it uh, to anyone. You can send it to your grandmother if you'd like. Um, but you just type in the email. If you'd like to edit the message, you can edit the message there and hit send, and it would send it to that person. Now to get back to the book, I'll just click on return here. This takes me back to the book, and you'll notice that there's a bright green question or uh, check mark here right over the microphone. This just means that that's been recorded, that that is in my files, uh, and so you can keep a track of exactly what you've recorded throughout the book and what you still may need to record. That is the microphone icon in the Interactive Practice Studio.